What's up, spectators? Welcome back to an episode of Rope 3. Last time, we finished the prologue, and finally we can get a, a start on the rest of the game. An alarm suddenly rang from my monopad. Not just from mine, the alarm was going off throughout the whole gym. Which meant everyone else had received a monopad as well. When I took mine out, a message was displayed on the screen. Students must live at the Ultimate Academy for the remainder of their foreseeable future. Once a murder takes place, all surviving students must participate in a class trial. If the blackened is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If the blackened is not exposed, all remaining students will be executed. Yeah, we already know all this. Uh... Oh! It'll continue until only two surviving students remain. They never said that before. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. The dining hall and gymnasium are off limits at night. Violence towards Monokuma, the headmaster, prohibited. He won't kill. Monopad important. Body discovery, three or more. Free to explore. Excisal's death. New you rules anytime. You gotta be kidding me. I will never. I will never participate in a killing game. Chapter one. I don't, I don't know how I was supposed to read that. My, our class trial, me. I don't know what the fuck it's supposed to be. <laughs> the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles, school regulations. So these are the rules. How? I do not understand why someone would force us to do this. But. But the rules are pretty cut and dry. This game doesn't seem like it'll be boring. You gotta be kidding me. That's not the problem. Listen. Please lower your voice. It's ruining the atmosphere. Oh yeah. Hey, hey. What does this sixth regulation mean? The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. Only two surviving students? What would be the reason for that? That's... Perhaps it's because you couldn't do a trial with just two people. I see, I see. You're so smart. Always messing around. Quit screwing around. Killing game, school regulations. Don't screw around. To hell with all that crap. Who'd go along with something like that? Kaito raised the motopad as if to smash the device on the ground. Oh. Hey now, don't do that. School rules say you can't break it. Hmm. If you violate the rules, then the excises will dispose of you. What? I don't care about the rules. No way I'm gonna play this messed up game. No. This isn't about playing the game. It's too dangerous to disobey him now. Forget about him. Just means one less dumbass for the world to deal with. Shut up! Who are you calling a dumbass? You, you weird, veiny man. I took a deep breath and shouted with all my might. Ah, uh, jeez. Ah, uh, jeez. Whoa. Jeez. Jeez. We shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves. Right now, we need to work together. Hmm. Honestly, I'd probably be more inspiring if I played a song than gave a speech. Chopin's military, never learned how to pronounce that, would definitely help unite us. Right? That's the problem with a lot of songs are, I guess they're not technically songs, like the equivalent of what a sonata might be. Uh, there's, all, there's like 10, 15 different words that classical music, musicians recycle because there's no imagination and they use these terms and I never bother learning how to pronounce them. Except in Korean, because I had a Korean music teacher. So we would learn these, and the, the pronunciations are all skewed. Which is why I say piano, instead of how Americans say what? Piano? Piano? Because we say piano, which is better sounding in my opinion. And that rant went on, and it was super uninteresting. I apologize. I can get behind some... Bolognese, and I don't even like beater tomatoes. Right. I agree with Kaede, too. We must remember who the real enemy is. Master told me that strength must always be aimed in the proper direction. Anyway, you're all panicking too much. Just stay calm like me. Wow. You're shaking so much. Really? 
Even I can't handle these intensive vibrations. And trust me, I got loads of experience. Get out of here. Hey. Why don't we work together and search for an exit one more time? But... But we looked over that wall and there wasn't a single hole. Please wait. Now wait just a second. If there's no opening in the wall, then how do we get inside in the first place? Good point. Got it? That means there must be an opening somewhere. We just have to find it. Hmm. Whoever trapped us here wants us to fight each other. All right. So let's show them that we're not going to let that happen. Um. Why are you quiet? Did I say something wrong? I do not agree. On the contrary. You made your case with such succinct aplomb that we've been rendered speechless. Please. I was going to say the same thing, but you beat me to it. Got it. You're exactly right. We can't give up so easily. Come on, come on. Let's split up and try to find the exit. Ooh. Atua, give us strength. Wow, impressive. I must admit, I admire your spirit. Hey. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. What is it? We were just about to get started. Um. Maybe it'd not matter much, but go to find manhole earlier in grass behind school building. Huh? Go to peek in. See big underground passage. Think maybe it exit. But... Is probably not so simple. Ah! You gotta mention important stuff like that much faster. Go on top peek and see big underground pistach thick bibbidi sick. No. Not like that. You're talking too fast. Either way. The boiler's behind the school building. We must corroborate Gonta's claim at once. Got it. Everyone follow Gonta! With Gonta leading us, we hurried out of the gym. Just when I was about to follow after them. That was pretty cool back there. Huh? How should I put this? The way you changed the mood completely. Seems like everyone looks up to you. Mm. What, you think that's hot or something? That's ridiculous. I just spoke from the heart. So in short. So it just comes naturally to you then. That's even more cool. <laughs> you have what it takes to win. Huh? That means... I was just thinking what you said back there would have pissed off whoever's running this. They definitely don't want us holding hands, working together. I'm sure. They're gonna come for you, Kaede, with everything they've got. I'm a little worried about you. You're just so straightforward. Uh. She does have a slight resemblance to Junko, doesn't she? A slight one? Wouldn't that be interesting if this were like a prequel? And because of playing this game, she goes crazy and makes everyone else go through the same thing. That's true. Perhaps it's a warning. That's what I think, anyway. Being strong-willed could get you into a lot of trouble around here. Sorry. I didn't mean to sound so negative at a time like this. No. It's fine. You only said that because you're worried, aren't you? But... Rantaro is a mystery. He forgot his ultimate talent as well. Is that something you could really forget? Well, there's no use thinking about it right now. We should just head to that manhole. Okay. You're right. All right, the manhole's behind the building, right? So we should have to just go out the front door. Not that way. Ooh, what's this? It says Ancient Passport. Wonder if it means anything. That's interesting. Why is one missing? Ooh. Oh, this way. Ooh, it's the Exizels! What are you up to? Oh, I can't talk to him. Okay. So we need to go... This way. Where is everyone?
then. Looks like we're all here. So where's this manhole? Um, over there in the grass. Do, 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 do. Where? Ah. It's true. There really is a manhole in the grass. <laughs> An important hole near some bush. Sounds familiar, am I right, ladies? Oh, good. They ignored her. This manhole cover looks heavy. Can we even lift it? Leave it to me. I can try. Kibo placed his hands on the manhole cover, and with all his strength, he... My apologies. How embarrassing. It won't even budge. Huh? A robot's not strong enough? Listen closely. Don't worry. My physical strength is approximate to that of a strong senior citizen. Piece of shit! That's pathetic. <laughs> the professor did not want to repeat of the tragedy that occurred during trial production. Now I'm just plain curious about what happened during that trial. Allow Gonta. I'm sure everyone died. Gonta lift cover before to peek inside. He placed his hands on the manhole cover and... Upsy daisy. So easily? His strength must be due to my magic. Yep, there's no mistaking it. Oh, you're amazing, Himiko. What should Gonta do with cover now? Please leave it somewhere else. Be careful not to hit anyone with it. Um, actually, Gonta no can do that. Very rude to litter. But with nowhere to dispose of the manhole cover, Gonta begrudgingly tossed it aside. The manhole cover easily traveled five yards before it hit the ground. Well, that's not very far. What wonderful strength. You could likely crush a child's skull with ease. Gonta never do that. How ungentlemanly. Um, Gentlemen or not, no one would do that. But... But Gonta is so much more reliable than some bean-counting robot. Hmm. Are you talking about me? Because I can count many things, not just beans. While everyone else was talking, I slowly peeked into the manhole. It was too dark inside to see clearly, but I could feel cold, moist air drifting up. This place is kind of creepy. We're really going in? Got it. I'm sure it's fine. At the very least, we definitely won't die down there. I'll protect you! If anything happens, I'll protect most of you. But the degenerate males are on their own. Going to protect you. Then go to perfect protect menfolk. That's true. Awfully quiet. Where are Monokuma and the Monocubs? I see, yes. I was certain they would show up at some point and crush us like rotten gnats. <laughs> they probably haven't noticed. Then let's hurry before they show up to mess with us. One by one, we each descended down into the manhole. Once we all had climbed down the ladder, we looked around and saw an open area. <laughs> it's more spacious than I thought it'd be. What is it? What is this place? That is correct. An old industrial passageway. I suspect perhaps factories once existed here. Ah. And this is all that's left. Hey. Take a look at this. <laughs> what a considerate sign. Apparently the end of the tunnel is the exit. Um. You don't think it's weird that someone went out of their way to write exit? <laughs> don't piss yourself in fear. Your natural scent is bad enough. I'm not scared, and I smell just fine. Hey. Well then, go on ahead. No point standing around here. That's... Yeah. No need to worry. Hmm. It looks a bit dangerous, but we're all ultimates here. Yeah, that's right. As long as we work together, everything will work out just fine. Uh, okay. You're right. Well said. That's exactly what I was going to say. We're really on the same wavelength. Give me a hug. No. No. Degenerate male. Yeah, you're trying to trick her into pressing her boobs against you. <laughs> It'll probably be okay. There will be an exit at the end of this, and once we reach it, this will all be over. I clung fiercely to the belief as we stepped into the tunnel. You're about to take on the death road of despair. The objective is simple. Everyone works together to escape. 
Press the left stick and directional buttons to move, and press the B button to jump. B button to jump? That's kind of annoying. You'll encounter plenty of traps set up to, to prevent you from escaping. If you hit a trap or fall, that person will be eliminated. If everyone's eliminated, game over, man. Okay. Oh, everyone follows my jump. That's cool. Oh, shit. Everyone, be careful. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Fine. This is I'll fucking do it. Ah! What the fuck? It's rigged! It's rigged! Oh, they're bombs! What the fuck? This is this is as hard as Super Mario Maker. Oh my god, he's the last one. What the fuck? Oh no 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 no! Still. As I slowly opened my eyes, it dawned on me that I had somehow lost consciousness. Uh, are you feeling all right? You're awake. Are you all right? Uh, I'm fine, but what about everyone else? I looked around and saw the others sitting on the ground. Everyone sat in stunned silence. A sobering sadness filled the air. This is quite the pity party you sad sacks are throwing. Huh? You all look exhausted, poor things. Aww. This place is filthy. It's murder on my cashmere skin. Hey! I bet Monodam's feeling pretty lucky right now. His body's already a cheap piece of junk. Hey. Why don't you respond to a Monodam? It'll liven things up a little, you know? <laughs> so you guys crawled out of your holes. Guess you finally noticed what we were up to. Huh? Noticed? I've known for a while that you guys would botch whatever escape plan you had. I also kind of pretty much knew too. What are you saying? That's a lie. Then... If you knew all along that this was just a trap, You're the worst of the worst. then there was no exit. You tricked us. Don't worry. No, there's an exit. So. I think you guys will manage to reach it if you all work together. How nice. There's nothing you 16 ultimates can't accomplish if you work together. <laughs> and if at first you don't succeed, Shame. try again. <laughs> try as many times as you want until you accept reality. So we can escape if we work hard? Fucking moron! No way. They'd be freaking out if we could actually reach it. Jeez. That's probably why they let us try. They wanted us to try to underground passage so we'd learn that the escape is impossible. You got me. Instead of blocking off every exit completely, they leave that little bit of hope. They want us to be desperate to go home. Actually. That's rotten. You might be right. But we can't just but... give up. Yeah. Right? I mean, we've only failed once. We can't give up this early. Okay. But isn't getting out of here impossible? That's not true. No, it's not. It may take one more try or a lot more tries, but it's not impossible. Forget about Monokuma. It doesn't matter what he says to us. I'll get us out of here. I don't here. want to lose to him, and I don't want any of you to lose either. I refuse to lose to someone who would do these terrible things to us. You're right. Mm -hmm. So let's all work hard to escape this place. And once we get out of here, make it to the outside world. Right? But you! Excuse me. Why don't we all stay friends? Um... Yeah. After going through an experience like this, I think we'd all be the best of friends. Right? I mean, it's not every day you get to beat out the ultimates. So what do you say? <laughs> that might not be bad. Yeah. That's a great idea. Ben. Then we've all the more reason to escape this place no matter what. <laughs> my body's ready. You can tell by how out of control my pit sweat is. I'm Ugh. glad. But... Isn't it premature to say what we'll do after we escape? Assumptions are all but useless. Whoa. You're clueless. Why am I not surprised that a robot can't read the air? That's robophobic. Robots can read the air. Thanks to innovations in pollutant detecting technology. 
Let's go! It doesn't matter if Monokuma says it's impossible. That's right. You're right. Yeah. It'll be okay. Wonderful. Oh, thank God I didn't bother reading that waste of dialogue. With our bond stronger than ever, we step into the tunnel once more. No, please don't. Oh, not again! I was looking for it. I was like, okay, where's the fall? Son of a bitch! Stop, stop. Why doesn't he stop? No, you guys stop! Damn it. Leave it to me. This is it. Oh my god, they're all just gonna die if I don't hurry up. No, they're bombs, they're bombs! They're bombs! They're bombs! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Here we go, we gotta hurry! Oh shit. Fine. I'll fucking do it. Okay, try it again. Here we go! Leave it to me, everyone. Is it possible? Is it even possible to make that jump? Alright. Unless you have to fall a little first. Nope, that's not it. I don't understand. Do you jump on top of it? No. Guess I'm up. I'm not gonna make it. Still. I'll do it, huh? I'm sorry. Oh! I'm sorry! I couldn't do it! I lost consciousness again. Why? And I was looking forward to a happy ending. Don't worry. Not yet. We're just getting started. Hmm? This will be a piece of cake. <sighs> Gunter gonna escape. Uh... This time we'll reach the exit. Those words carried me as I stepped into the tunnel. It was no good. Even so, we refused to surrender. We kept telling ourselves that this time we'll escape. But we failed each time. With every attempt, we repeated the words this time over and over. But in the end, we couldn't do it. I thought we'd be able to escape as long as we never gave up. But it made no difference in the end. Damn. Seems like... That's wrong! We can't give up. Knock it off already. Huh? I don't like that. You're free to keep trying on your own, but forcing us to join you is basically torture. Uh, that's so mean. You know what really hurts? Being denied the right to give up in an impossible situation. You won't let us give up, and no matter what we say, you have the moral high ground. That doesn't sound like torture to you. Shit. When you say we can't give up, you're not inspiring us, you're strong arming us. That's wrong. I didn't mean it like that, you little bitch. Hey! Degenerate man! Quit being so selfish! Please don't. I'm not being selfish. The others feel the same way. Huh? Aww, Everyone? silly Kibo. My spirit is nearly broken. This hardship gnaws at me. Given the circumstance, the most logical course of action would be to give up. Yeah. I feel like Hisashi Mitsui in the second half of a basketball game. I knew this was impossible from the start. This bullshit is a waste of my precious time and energy. I can't let you all rely on my magic. Besides, I don't have enough MP left. I'm just relieved that no one was seriously injured. Praise be, Tua Tua. Wait! Hey, guys! Are you really okay with not getting out of this place? We shouldn't have to push ourselves. Let's just find another way out. Huh? No way. You're talking about the killing game, aren't you? Ah. So you're gonna interpret it like that, huh? You gotta be kidding what me! What are you saying? There's no way we can do the killing game. <laughs> Calm down. Want some bubblegum? You can blow pretty big bubbles with it. Uh -huh. Looks like this little degenerate wants his head smashed into the ground. Wait! Stop, guys. We shouldn't be fighting. Jeez. We should be killing. We fell apart pretty quick for a group that decided to be friends and work together. Sorry. This is my fault. Uh, um... Dumbass! What are you apologizing for? It's not your fault. Hmm. I think it is Kaede's fault. What? Why? This is 
an announcement. It is now nighttime. It's very bad time! Whether you've been good or naughty, it's time to go tinkle and go to bed. Please be careful. The dining hall and gym are locked during nighttime, so be careful. Bedtime or sign. All that remains of a once powerful. He's all that remains from a once powerful nation. We should probably just get a fresh start tomorrow. Huh? What do you think? We've each been assigned a room in the dorm. Perhaps we should rest there. <laughs> We're gonna rest? What's wrong? The rooms aren't that bad. Much better than my prison cell, that's for sure. But, but it makes me nervous to think we'll be staying the night at this creepy school. Okay. Well, nothing we could do but suck it up. So what's our plan for tomorrow? Since the dining hall opens at 8, how about we meet there at the time? That's right. I think that'll work. I'm okay with that. It's decided. Can we go to our rooms already? Either way. We should get as much rest as we can and regain our strength. I don't know if I can go pee by myself in the middle of the night. I'll come with you, if you don't mind, that is. Just let me know. Why is she drooling? Oh. Hey, guys, just as a warning. Should I... We shouldn't let our guards down. We'll be easy targets at night. You mean... Because of killing game. Please wait. I see no need to worry about something as illogical as murder taking place here. Mm -hmm. I know, just a warning. I mean... Why'd you apologize before? You didn't do anything wrong, you know. Um, well, when we tried to escape, I felt like we were united behind a common goal. But after I put everyone's lives at risk, that unity's gone. Seriously? That's Come just on. the stupid end result. It's not like you wanted it to go that way. Listen up. Don't apologize for something that's not your fault. It'll just make you feel bad. You know... Everyone just decide to blame you and give up. I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind later. Well, anyway, let's just get to sleep for now. See you tomorrow. Hmm, Kaito's good people. He's a good guy. I wasn't sure if I'd like him, but I guess I do. Uh, um... I don't think you need to worry about what Ko Kokichi said. You weren't pressuring us, at least, I don't think so. Uh... Yeah, thanks, Suichi. <sighs> but I'm exhausted. Let's just go back to our rooms and rest. You're right. We'll see you tomorrow. What's the matter? What's wrong, Gonta? Not going back to the dorms? Um... Going to worry about manhole. Think it okay with cover gone? What if someone fall in? Because Gonta gentlemen. Gentlemen can no ignore that. But Karuba tell Gonta leave cover off. Mm. Gunta not know what to do. Um. Everyone knows it's here, so I'm sure we'll all be careful. Don't worry. You right. Okay, you right. Thank you, Kaede. Good night. Yeah. Gonta may look scary, but he's actually a very kind, innocent soul. But he seems a little vindictive. I'm pretty sure if you said... I hate cockroaches! He would fuck you up. Wait, what? When's the last time the game is saved? Let me just... Uh, wait, how do you do that again? Yes. Oops. Okay. They didn't put a teleport in this game. I guess the walking isn't that long to begin with, so it's okay. Are you feeling Is something the right? matter? Please rest and try to regain as much strength as you can. Escaping this place will prove to be quite difficult. Best not to fret over it. Okay. And the dorms are this way. Seeing it like this, the school really is eerie. It's an interesting place in the day, but having to stay at night is too much. With my if you magic. really can't fall asleep, I'll put you to sleep with a magic hammer. Rest in that peace. would be an eternal sleep. Rip and rip.
And my room is... Well, it was here before. Oh, it's still the same room. So this is my room. Well, it's not too shabby. Are you kidding? It looks great. It looks like a really fancy, luxurious hotel with a slight, like a bit of a minimalist thing going on. But then again, every hotel's probably like that, so. Huh? A key? Is it the key to this room? Bingo! You got it right. Nice work. That is, in fact, the key to this room. Yay, I got the best mono cub. You probably don't have anything worth stealing in here. But you should still lock your door when you leave. Hell yeah! Now it's time for me to give you a special hint. If you steal someone else's key, you can sneak into the room and kill them easily. I don't want to hear that. Yeah. I just got shoot out! This place is the worst. I want to go home. Well, it has been 30 minutes, and I'm pretty sure the second I go to bed and you wake up, it'll be dialogue and cutscenes. So why don't we just play it safe and end this video here? So let me find the save button again, which always takes me a minute. Come on. All right, everyone, thanks for watching, and stay tuned tomorrow for the next episode. Bye-bye!